guys. If you don't already know me, I'm Fahim Saleh, the CEO of Gokada. Who decapitated Fahim Saleh, the tech entrepreneur found dismembered in a New York apartment? Howdy everyone, my imaginary friend, that Bunny, is going to bring this story to you today. Hello, Fahim Saleh, the 33-year-old tech entrepreneur, founder and CEO of Gokata, Nigeria's motorcycle ride hail company, was found dismembered in a luxury New York condo. Gokata on Twitter confirmed his death with this post. Fahim was a great leader, inspiration and positive light for all of us. Our hearts go out to his friends, family, and all those feeling the pain and heartbreak we are currently experiencing here at Gokata. All updates and changes will be communicated with you as it unfolds, forever in our hearts. A cold-blooded killer, clad in a ninja outfit, left his victim's dismembered corpse inside a $2 million Lower East Side condo just moments before the victim's sister arrived at the crime scene. Follow me in this investigation, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Saleh was born in Saudi Arabia and grew up in the U.S graduating from Bentley University in Massachusetts. He was born in Saudi Arabia and moved quite a bit before settling in Rochester, according to his bio on the Gokata site. In 2003, while still living with his parents, he created WizTeen, a network of around a dozen websites targeted at teens and tweens that allowed for customizing social media and instant messenger services. Saleh also founded the website Prank Dial, which he said had earned him more than $10 million. Prank Dial was the result of Fahim's innate ability to manipulate in-person social experiences into fun and interactive activities online. Working with a contractor, he taught himself the nitty-gritty of the app business, including recording his own voice for some of the pranks. What I'll tell you is that Gokata is not just a business to me, it's a mission. Saleh was last seen in the surveillance footage Monday evening getting into the elevator in his apartment building in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, the source said. A man dressed in all black, wearing gloves and a hat, with a mask over his face, is seen in the video entering the elevator with him. Allegedly, the killer looks like a ninja. The official who spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity said the footage also shows a struggle between the two ensuing at the entrance of the apartment. The elevator in Saleh's building goes straight into the apartment units there. Once inside Saleh's apartment, the alleged assailant started to attack him, a source said. The suspect bolted via a staircase as the sister rode the elevator upstairs to visit him, with their impending arrival interrupting the killer's efforts to scrub the bloody condo clean and dispose of the body. The killer left behind the electric saw used to decapitate the 33-year-old victim and lop off Saleh's arms and legs. The source said cleaning materials were also found inside the seventh floor residence. The killer was alerted by the sister's buzzing from the East Houston Street lobby where she was admitted by the virtual doorman according to the source. The sister called 911 after stumbling upon the gruesome scene with her millionaire tech entrepreneur brothers limbless and headless torso inside, police said. The worried sister went to the apartment because she hadn't seen her brother in a day. He was dressed like a ninja full out so you can't even see his face. He clearly knew what he was doing. We think his intent was to get rid of the body parts and go back and clean it up and make it look like nothing happened. He left before he finished the job, the source added. Who killed Fahim Saleh? Why? Leave a comment now. Your opinion matters. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, press thumbs down twice, just to be sure. Take it easy. Peace. Oh, by the way, I'm an alien. But not that kind of alien. <laughs>